What is going on world? Today we're here to operate on my iMac in order for DaVinci to run a little bit better. All right, so one of my problems with DaVinci was that my computer was running pretty slow and it was not making my workflow any better. It was just making it even harder. Come to find out my RAM did not meet the requirements for DaVinci. All right, cool. Let me see how much a spec out new iMac cost. So I went on to Apple, went over to the new iMac Pro, which has great specs and there has to be another alternative. I figured it was a DIY. Why not try to save some books? All right, so this is not a detailed guide or anything like that. So this took me a, a little bit over uh, two hours. So when I finished putting all of this back together and I went to go power on my Mac, it was not turning on. I was scared, I'm like, that's it. I messed up, uh, my computer goes to trash. Luckily, it ended up powering on, but I messed up on one thing. Be careful with the mic wire, it's tiny, fragile, and my mic is not working, it's fine. I use external mics, um, but if I could avoid this, then obviously I could avoid it. So after upgrading the RAM, um, here's my uh, system performance. I'm extremely happy because now DaVinci is running flawlessly and my workflow is better. The newer iMacs don't have that. You can actually, I believe, just pop like a little tab open and you know, um, swap out your RAM. Why they didn't do it? I, mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Peace.